That wraps up the double A slate, but now we go to nine man, and that's where we bring in our own David Gibson, who has some region three action. Thanks, Phil and Luke. That's right. Mohawk taking on partial at home in the MLS Mavericks and the partial white shirt Braves talking over before the game. And we go to first quarter action. Mavericks on the goal line and Jer Jersey Jurgensen pushes his way into the end zone for the score. Now partial trying to drive back when quarterback Lawrence Polanco going deep. But Gannon Hall comes up and snatches the ball away for the interception and he gets back with a nice game. And now the Mavericks, Joe Savicool dropping back to pass. He throws a strike to Lucas Unlin, who walks into the end zone for the score. And MLS wins big in this one, 47 to 0. Now back to y'all for some more football action. I know, we're just getting started here. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I can't wait to show you what we have next. We'll be right back with a little bit later in the night here, with him and a little bit later in the night. But. First, a look at class class A action coming up next, but first, a look at the scoreboards. CHI St. Alexius, celebrating 135 years of good. Celebrate unbelievable Labor Day savings at Conlin's. Save 25% on all white tagged items throughout the store. Save 30% on all blue tagged items. Or save 35% on all red tagged items. Hurry into Conlin's for huge Labor Day savings. Pittsburgh Paints and Stains. The perfect paint for when the nursery becomes the bedroom. That becomes his room. That becomes your favorite room in the house. Paint because you want to, not because you have to. For results that stand up to whatever life brings, trust Pittsburgh Paints and Stains, exclusively at Menards. Get 11% off everything, including Pittsburgh Paramount Paint. Because of this, we made Ford Super Duty the most capable heavy-duty pickup ever. Because of this, we built Ford F-150 with 375 horsepower and best-in-class payload. Rescue 614 Because of this, we built Ford Ranger with the terrain management system. And because Ford trucks are built for this, you made Ford America's best-selling brand. The game is over, and you still can't get enough? Get the inside look with KX Sports After the Whistle every Sunday night at 1035. Review the greatest plays and most shocking upsets of the week. Plus, impactful stories on athletes that go beyond the game. Catch up on the action with Phil Benatti, Luke Gamble, and David Gibson to tackle all the latest sports news, highlights, and scores. After the Whistle, Sunday nights at 1035, exclusively on KX. Celebrate unbelievable Labor Day savings at Conlin's. Save 25%, 30%, or 35% off on items throughout the store. Plus, ask about available 60-month special financing. Hurry into Conlin's huge Labor Day sale. Welcome back to the show. I hope you can understand the behind the mask, but a big thanks to the St. Mary students on bringing us back from the break. Absolutely. Now we go to class single A and we start out west to a team in the top five in the rankings for the first time this season. That's right. Bowman County coming off a win against Dickinson Trinity last week on the road against Kildeer. But both teams going into this one 3-0. Honoring September 11th as well. Early on, Kildare takes advantage of two first half fumbles and an interception. Bowman on the fringe there, but those turnovers leading to points for Kildare as Zach Anderson taking it in himself. It's the Cowboys with the lead early, and then it's Anderson again. A nice move here, racing past the defense, up 12 nothing early in the first. Late in the first quarter, though, Bowman rolling. With Caleb Duffield taking the direct snap, gets Bowman on the board, but it's Kildeer that pulls off the upset at home, 40 to 26. A good one there. Now to Southern McLean hosting Shiloh Christian. We picked this one up in the second quarter with Shiloh leading 14 0. Kagan Germanson drops back and looks deep to Alex Ratterheth, who makes the great catch in double coverage there later in the drive. Fourth down, Gerbenson goes for Garrett Flieger in the end zone, but the pass broken up. Big stop there to prevent points on the board. 
into the second. Rough Riders are looking for a stop. Unfortunately for them, Josh Coling was on fire, and he hits Braden Keene wide open in the end zone to extend the lead. Shiloh wins big on the road, 41-8. to eight. Well, those games were fun, but we have a lot more to talk about up north, and that's where we bring in David Gibson once again, who has the rest of the highlights. That's right, Phil. Velma at home for the first time this year, hosting Garrison Max. The team's being introduced beforehand, and now we're going to go to a few plays into the game. Jersey Selzer drops back to pass. He's surveying the field. He throws it deep, and it finds Gages Florence's hands for the touchdown. And now we're going to go to the second quarter. Jersey Selzer dropping back to pass again. He finds a wide open Adam Shep on the left side for the nice touchdown. And then the Aggies going to go for two. And Selzer again finding Adam Shep on the right side in the corner for the score. But later in the quarter, Jersey Selzer hands the ball off to Tyson Tomlinson, who runs to the outside before cutting it back in for the score. But the Aggies are running away with this one. Jersey Selzer again finding a cutting Adam Shep for the touchdown. And Belva wins big, 54 to 6. Now the Cameron Hawkers take it on the Deluxe Burlington Lakers at home. We start this one in the third quarter. Lakers, Weston Woos runs one up the middle to put six on the board for the Lakers. Now Hawkers quarterback Andrew Christensen passing to the left, intended for Jaden McNeely, but Blake Watcha of, of the Lakers finding his way to get that interception. He takes it to the crib for a pick six. But now Kenmere has possession again, and Christensen tries to run up the middle, but he's met by three Lakers defenders. But Kenmere squeaks past this one in 26-24. Now Nedro's hosting South Prairie. Third quarter action, Carter's Ethan Miller hands the ball off to Cameron Bailey, who makes a few defenders miss before he breaks free for the wide-open touchdown. But now we're going to the fourth quarter. South Prairie's Gage Olsen dropping back to pass. He delivers a strike over the middle to Caden Corgill, who breaks free for the score or put two or put six on the board. It's 20 to six Nedros. But later in the fourth quarter, rolls Gage Olsen throwing over the middle and is picked off by Joe Roberts to set the Cardinals up. But then we go to the next play, Nedros handing the ball off to Gavin Ball, who breaks free for the tackle for the touchdown, and Nedros wins 26-12. to And that's all the highlights we have down here. We're going to send it back to you.